This video covers the generation of Avaya Aura Session Border Controller SNMP traps. Generating Avaya Aura Session Border Controller SNMP traps may be required in order to confirm the ability for a network management system or secure access link gateway to receive traps generated by the SBC. We will demonstrate a non-service interrupting procedure to confirm general traps can be received by a destination or target. We will also demonstrate a service interrupting procedure to confirm the ability for a destination to react to events that would indicate a disruption of supported features or server functionality. We will provoke a non-service interrupting event by simply logging into the SBC web interface. Both successes and failures are notified. This is dependent on the access request trap being configured, which belongs to the system trap filter category. The system filter is enabled in all releases. However, in release 6.0.3, the access request trap must be specifically enabled. For the login or access request trap, we will first fail an attempt to log into the SBC web browser interface. For the login failure, Use an incorrect username or password. We will enter a username of wrong name. We will then successfully log into the web using a valid username and password. In this example, SBC Admin. The traps being received by our destination will be confirmed in the iReasoning trap receiver component. iReasoning is developed by iDeskCentric Incorporated and has multiple versions of the tool available at iReasoning.com. We will use the free personal edition of the MIB browser. Our use does not signify Avaya's endorsement of the tool. It is assumed that the SBC Enterprise MIB has been loaded in iReasoning. In a long list of traps received by multiple devices, first identify the IP address of the product. Note the details from the first attempt. You will see access request indicated in the main table description, as well as in the detail panes SNMP trap OID section. The attempted username is shown in the request username section. We entered wrong name. The user interface accessed is shown in the Access Request Type section. We access the system using the web, but SSH would be shown when the CLI is accessed via SSH or Console for Console Access. Deny is specifically stated in the Access Request Results section. The same details are provided for the successful attempt. We again see the username in the Request Username section. The Access Request type is again shown as Web, however we now see Allow shown for a successful attempt in the Access Request Results section. We will provoke a service interrupting event by restarting an SBC process, specifically the SIP process. Other traps will be generated as a result of restarting the SIP process, but we will focus on its trap details. All software releases will generate the trap associated with a process restart. After this test, we will confirm that the process did restart successfully. Once authenticating to the SBC using a valid username and password, select the Actions tab. From the Actions tab, Locate then click Restart from the left menu. Select Process from the Mode drop-down. In the Process Name drop-down menu, select SIP. Do remember that this is service affecting so should only be done during a maintenance window. To actually perform the restart, click the Invoke button. Confirm the action by clicking OK. A success status should be received. We will again use the iReasoning Trap Receiver tool. 
Multiple traps are received in iReasoning as a result of the process restart. Process down is indicated in the main table description as well as in the detail panes SNMP trap OID section. The name itself indicates what actually occurred. The process down process section indicates what was specifically restarted. Since there is not a trap to indicate that the process is back up, we will check the status in the SBC web interface. To confirm that the process restarted, in the browser select the Status tab. In the left menu, choose alphabetically from the display drop-down. Expand Status. Find and select Processes. Locate the process in the table. In our example, the SIP process was restarted. Confirm that the condition is listed as running. For more information on the SBC's SNMP traps and management information base, refer to the Avaya Aura Session Border Controller Management Tools Guide, available on the product documentation page of support.avaya.com. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.